In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, young people. Welcome to this adoration. We are happy to see you this morning. We all of us make our life having trust and faith in God. Every day we need to energize ourselves, revolve our life around this word of God which is more powerful than any other things. And this is a good opportunity. This is a good chance for all of us. Early morning, waking up, coming in worship and hearing the word of God and take that one as a tool for us to lead and guide our day. So this day is dedicated to Mary, a mother, being a Saturday, who had a great trust in the Lord. Keep her as an example before us and look at the Eucharistic Lord and pray for this grace that this day may be blessed, this day may be guided, this day may be motivated by the word of God that we are going to receive. Make yourself comfortable. Welcome the Eucharistic Lord amidst us. He is my everything. He is my all. He is my all. He is my everything. He is my everything. Both great and small. Both great and small. He gave his life for me. He gave his life for me. Made everything new. Made everything new. He is my everything. Now how about you? Now how about you? Like honey in the rock, let us sing to him. Like honey in the rock. Like honey in the rock. Sweet honey in the rock. For it tastes like. For it tastes like honey in the rock. Oh taste and see. Oh taste and see. The Lord is good, that the Lord is good. For he tastes, for he tastes like honey in the rock. As we have gathered here before the Lord, let us surrender our needs to him. Let us look at his face. He's present in this blessed sacrament. In Psalm chapter 9, verse 18 says. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Again, the word of God says to us in Psalm chapter 60 verse 12, With God we shall do valiantly. It is He who will tread down our foes. If with God we shall do valiantly, let us be close to our Lord Jesus, because He is the one who will help us in the time of our troubles, our afflictions, our difficulties. Let us say to him with faith, like honey in the rock, sweet honey in the rock. Like honey in the rock, sweet honey in the rock, sweet honey in the rock, for he tastes like, for he tastes like, Honey in the rock Oh taste and see Oh taste and see That the Lord is good That the Lord is good For He tastes like For He tastes like Honey in the rock He is my everything Let us say to that Jesus Lord Jesus we surrender All of the youngsters present Lord Jesus, bless them. Deliver them from all problems, difficulties, irritations. Lord Jesus, bless them. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Deliver them from all kind of troubles, afflictions, addictions, bad habits that they are facing, a lot of challenges that they have to overcome every day, a lot of opposition that they have to overcome. Oh Lord Jesus, we come before you at this moment. Lord Jesus, have mercy on them today. Bless them. Fill them with your graces. Fill them with your graces, fill them with your blessings.
fill them with your power my dear friends we are our choices for us today we have taken psalm 56 verses 3 which says when i am afraid i put my trust in god when i am afraid i put my trust in god this is the psalm by david who was placing his total surrender and trust in god in all the time possible we have taken this verse for our reflection today my dear friends this verse reminds us that fear is a natural human emotion we all of us have got a different emotions crying laughing this fear is an another emotion but it does not have to control or instead we can choose to trust in god this fear is a natural human emotion but this need not control us rather we need to trust in god when we place our trust in god the fear that we have will disappear fear of exam fear of your relationship fear of an interview fear of a friendship fear in your family fear in the society the fear that is creeping in should be removed if we have trust in the lord therefore we need to place our trust in the lord why we have taken this psalm my dear friends this psalm is by david david being a great king he gets fear of a country in which he was um, he was he was captured you know the david is struggling with the fear but yet he declared that he has a trust in the lord he declared the god who will who will remove him from this fear we need to follow this footstep of david he gives two lessons for us we need to acknowledge our fear number one we need to acknowledge our fear we all of us have got a fear fear in a various types of fear we all of us have got but we need to acknowledge that fear recognize and accept your fear then come back to the lord come back to the lord and surrender yourself to god rather than suppressing them do not suppress your fear but accept it that this is an another emotion but i need to come and trust in the lord that's what david did david did of acknowledging that fear number 2 trust in god shift your fear from faith your fear to faith we need to rely in god's presence power and love in all the circumstances we need to trust or rely in god's presence power and love that's what david did in his life therefore my dear young people trusting in the lord is an important key word for us key word for us is to we need to move from this fear to trusting in the lord but at time we choose to turn away from god we choose not to move to have a trust in the lord than to our friends our human being or our friends our relatives he could have easily ask the help from other king he could ask his people but david focused on god david chose a right thing in his life he chose god who will deliver him from this fear that is an example for us today my dear friends therefore how do we apply this word of god into our life is we need to identify the areas in which we are creeped in the fear is surrounding us we need to identify that number 2 bring those fear to god in prayer we need to bring those fear to god in prayer 
Number three, replace fear with the trust. This is how we can apply this word of God. Psalm 56 verses 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in God. My dear young people, this morning may be blessed. This morning, the word of God that we have heard may be inspire each one of us that we rely our f- our hope and faith in god we take the example of david we look at the mary as an example who totally surrendered herself and trust in the word that was spoken to her by an angel we all of us need to have this trust this aspect of trust in god total surrender to him this is a right time surrender your day surrender the things that you, that are coming into your mind and your heart surrender everything and have a total trust in god like david did like mary did come my dear friends receive the blessings from the lord that he may guide all of us entire day may be filled with this word of god we all of us may follow the footsteps of jesus receive the blessings from the eucharistic lord Young people, we know that you all of us have got a lot of responsibility to do throughout the day. You have got up this morning with a full of schedule that you have set for this day. But yet, a small word of God for you, thought for the day. Have this word of God in your mind and heart. Let it ring throughout the day that you try to meditate whenever you get a free time. Homework is Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Proverb chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 which says trust in the lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths my dear friends rely not on your insight but on god let the day be blessed Let the God be your protector. Show his mercy on each one of you. That you may enjoy this day filled with God's spirit. We pray for each one of you. And wish you all the best and success. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Amen.